Hey guys, I am going to do the o Okoye uh, eyeshadow look that I had posted a picture of last night. Um, this is going to be a video that will stay on here. You don't have to watch live if you don't want. Uh, I just wanted to post it here to show you guys how I achieved that look. Uh, bear with me if I mess up because I am not perfect. Um, here we go. I mean, there's really nothing else to say about this. I'm also recording this video on my other camera and I'll post it to YouTube. So you'll have a clearer picture, but this is just the live version so that you'll, you can watch it two places. Um, to achieve this look, I'm just doing the eyeshadow on the lips, but for the eyeshadow, I'm using my Morphe 35P palette. And this is the purple palette. It has all the purple colors in it. I am using the Huda Booty, Huda Booty. The Huda Beauty Mob Obsessions palette. And I am using the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. Um, for the lips, I am going to be using my Pat McGrath uh, red lipstick. And again, it's just a red lipstick. You could use any red lipstick. And then I'm going to be using a cheap purple lip liner. I had purchased this at some hair store. I have no idea of what hair store it was, but this is the purple lip liner that I use. I'm not doing like foundation or anything like that. I just did my eyebrows so that I did not look dead. Um, but all I'm doing is the eyeshadow and the lipstick. So here we go um the first thing that i'm going to do is do my corner and i'm going to be using this color let me cover that so y'all not getting all shiny all up in your eyes i'm going to be using this color i forgot everything's opposite in the huda palette the okay we'll look on my uh, vanity and get me my um uh spray smashbox the clear bottle spray okay um so i'm going to go in with that and i'm going to use just like a blender brush i think this is what this is yeah this is a medium blender brush this is from my vanity planet palette i got like um 20 30 brushes maybe for about 30 bucks i'm lying i'm not going in with that first i gotta set my eyes i forgot i don't have foundation and stuff on so i gotta set my eyes first since i don't have on foundation or anything I'm gonna be doing a quick little set here and I'm gonna be using my NYX eyeshadow base and it's white. I'm just gonna use a little bit of that. And the reason why I like to use eyeshadow base is because it helps your colors to pop and it helps your eyeshadow stick, but I also set my eyeshadow base. And if you look at my eyelids, my eyelids are like dark and light. So I just like them to be a little even, especially when I'm using dark colors because if not, I feel like I have a black eye. Um, that might just be all in my mind, but that's just how I feel. After I do the concealer, I take my, um, what is the name of it? Um, cover effects, cover effects to mute out my eyes. And then once I put my foundation and stuff on, everything blends in. Keep in mind, I'm not wearing foundation. This is not what your eyes would look like if you're wearing foundation. But again, this is what's going to make your eyeshadow look even. It'll make your eyelids, it'll give you like a smooth canvas for you to do your eyelids. So keep that in mind. I'm not doing all the other stuff. I'm just doing my eyes and my lips so y'all can see how I did that because I don't feel like washing off all that foundation and stuff today. I'm just not in the mood. And I just gave myself a facial last night. So I'm trying to let my skin breathe for about 24 hours. About 24. Uh Another thing that I like to do, especially before I do like specific makeup looks, is I like to use tape. 
um you can buy they have the eyeshadow uh guards that you can use but i have not purchased any yet so i've just been using tape assistant so i'm getting my tape ready let's take that boom put that in the corner it's like a little guide and especially when you're using dark colors you get lots of fallout and stuff i try to do anytime i'm doing looks like this i do my eyeshadow first because I don't want to ruin my foundation. Um, with especially this Morphe palette, this one has a lot of fallout with those darker colors. Darker colors usually have usually have more fallout anyway. Um, so that's why I like to start with my eyeshadow before I do my foundation. So starting out with my blender bl blender brush. Jesus, I'm gonna take this color right here in the corner, and I'm going to just lay it in there. And it's going to end up giving me like that little V right there because I have my tape as my guide. I try not to go over that little bone that you feel right there, like right this bone. I try not to go over that. But if you go over it, um, you can just blend it out. That's completely fine. lots of it so I just blended it out over into this little area over here if for some reason you go over too far and you think it looks a little messy it's another reason why I like to do my eyeshadow before I do my foundation you can just clean it up with this you can use a makeup um, you can use a, use some makeup remover if you don't have a spray makeup remover you can take like one of those makeup remover cloths and just rub it on here make a point and then just use it like a pencil like you ain't got to be perfect on first application you just need to know how to clean your problems <clears throat> or know how to fix your mistakes so I got that and I'm pretty sure I'm going to use the same brush again because I just am I'm just not going to use it right this second um, the next brush that I'm going to use is going to be this one which is a crease brush but I'm not using it for a crease the reason why I'm using this one is because it's hard. It's harder than that other fluffy brush. And it's easier for me to get this purple. I gotta open this, I'm sorry. It's easier for me to get this purple one with this brush just because it's so stiff. This is the 35P palette. This is probably about $23 or so in Morphe. Um, you get really, really good color payoff, but you also get a lot of fallout, which again, I don't really care about fallout as long as it's not glitter fallout um with this one you're just going to take this color and they don't like these older palettes they don't name the color so it's the second row from the bottom and it's going to be the second from the left and i'm just going to take my brush tap it in there tap it off a little bit and then i'm going to hit that corner just to deepen it in So I'm going to go back with that red color again. I'm going to tap. And I'm just going to clean it out a little bit. So it just blends that purple and red together right there. Just so you don't have like a definite line. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But it just keeps you from having a definite line from purple to red but you can still see where it goes from purple to red so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to get a flatter brush like a concealer brush and i'm going to put some concealer on my eyes kind of like i'm going to do a cut crease but i'm not going to do a cut crease because i got big ass eyes and cut creases just don't do anything for me 
So what I'm gonna do is that, you see that line? My bottom lid right there, I'm going to attempt to outline only the bottom lid. How successful I'm gonna be with that, who knows? I always go in with good intentions though. So we're gonna try to do just that line. And I find that it's, if I start at the bottom and work my way up, it works better. So I got that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my glitter. Um, I'm going to use flat brushes for my glitter. On the outside, I'm going to use a bigger flat brush that I'm going to use on the inside. I'm going to spray my brush with some Smashbox primer water. And I'm going to use this moon dust. And I'm going to use a combination of colors to get the desired effect. Um, I want the darker purple on the outside, so I'm going to use the um, this magnetic, the Virgo, and the element to give me the darker color. So when I said three colors, I lied. I knew that I had lied. I just didn't remember. I didn't remember at what point. So you just pack that. And it's going to be on the outer part. I just start off with the blue. And it's okay if you go up just a little bit further because you're going to end up trying to blend that out anyway. And then I'm going to do the red because blue and red makes purple, kind of, sort of. I mean, in the real world it does. And it kind of does here too. But this is just going to deepen it. And now I'm going to actually go over that with the purple. And I'll pack that one. And again, if you go up a little bit further, it's completely fine. And now I'm going to go with the smaller brush. This is a smaller one. Spray that one with my studio i mean smashbox primer water i always want to call it studio fix uh the primer water and i'm just going to take the reddish color glitter called element and pack that in my corner now this color also doubles as an orange I'm going down too far. I'm sorry. I need y'all to see me. I, that's something I need to work on when I'm recording. Let me use this mirror. It's bending down in the camera. I did a whole video the other day and half of my face was like down here because I kept looking in my, my mirror. I need to work on that. So then that's the red. I'm just going to put a little bit more on. Do it in the middle like I did the other one. And then I'm going to go over it with the purple again so I can kind of blend them out. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to give the red and the purple. Like you want people to know that you have on red and purple. If you want to be... I ain't know about it then you can go back over it like I'm doing right now with the red so that it's in a, like a definitive place so now to finish my eyes I am going to do a bottom lid first I'm gonna do my eyeliner and then I'll do my um eye, my mascara and then I'll do my bottom lid and I gotta find my eyeliner it has a cat head on it oh here it is I'm using sex kitten my favorite eyeliner pencil man eater is really good too they're both made by tarte um but i love this pencil it this and the flirt cosmetics 
dot 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 i love both of these uh the only reason why i don't use my dot 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 as much as i used to is just because i'm running out but this is my favorite pencil <clears throat> it has the best point to me if you keep your tape on it'll make doing your cat eye that much easier but you can take your tape off i usually take mine off but i'll go ahead and leave it on um since i'm too lazy to take it off right now can you woo 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 and i got fallout underneath my eyes but i don't have any foundation on so that can easily be fixed and then i put on my mascara i'm using my favorite mascara right now which is the limelight by alcone y'all probably can't see that because of the light my ring light is like ultra ultra bright um, but this has the fibers in it and I absolutely love this mascara. Love it. It's my favorite mascara right now. It goes on so smooth. It's like butter. And then after I do this, I'm gonna do my bottom lid. I should have already done that, but I didn't. Sorry. underneath now we have to do those that's my bottom i gotta do my bottom lid that's my top lid for the under eye i am going to use some um the primer water <clears throat> i would normally have concealer i wait to do my under eyes until i put my concealer on because i like to have my concealer built up and on because i've noticed that that helps my under eye eyeshadow stay on longer i don't know if that sounds weird or not but that just works for me <clears throat> but since i'm not wearing foundation or concealer i'm just going to put it on why can i not find the hole in this like y'all i'm sitting here spinning this bottle around trying to find the hole and i can't so i'm gonna wet this <clears throat> and underneath my eye i'm going to go in with the purple from this palette right here uh, I'm going to use a little bit of a brighter purple. It's this one right here. <clears throat> I'm not going to go as dark. <clears throat> and again, this stuff is powdery. Don't blow it off if you're doing somebody's face. That's not hygienic. But if it's just you, you do it. I got all types of... And I'm going to take that out underneath my wing. Y'all see that? You might not be able to. <clears throat> but that's the reason why I darken this. Because I want that line to be visible. You could probably do this with a um, liquid eyeliner. But I'm not really good with liquid eyeliners on my bottom lid. That's not my forte. So I just give myself that under wing right there with that purple. And I just keep, keep going with the rest of the purple. <clears throat> Sorry y'all my voice. Sorry. um the best way to do your under eye for me is either a small pointed brush <clears throat> i have one that's much smaller than this i just want to show y'all the shape of it oh this one like something like this this is actually a paint brush that i got from the art store but this works really well to smudge under eye um and this gets on under eye really good it's a synthetic i think this is a synthetic brush um, but something that is pointed at the end or something that's really, really small and flat at the end for my under eyes works the best. <clears throat> I 
and take your time doing your under eye, especially if you already have all your makeup on, because ain't nothing worse than messing up something that requires you to take off a significant amount of makeup. There we go. So there's a purple on both sides now. <clears throat> and then I'll take my other little concealer brush and do the red. I could literally use the same brush, but fuck it. <clears throat> I brought them in here for that reason. So I'm going to use the red from here. I'm not going to use the red glitter. I got enough glitter on my face as it is. Um, I'm just going to use the one from the Moth Obsessions palette. And I'm going to go over that purple with that red. Just to give it a little bit of a deeper color. <clears throat> Cause the purple's a little bit brighter than the other colors. And then I'll sweep it out again to that wing. It just gives it a little bit of a deep, uh, a different look than just purple. And then I'll take it over on the other side and do the same thing. <clears throat> I'm not like doing a whole lot. I'm literally just going over that purple. Sorry if y'all haven't, if my mirror is all up in y'all's way. <clears throat> One thing I always hated when I was a kid were my eyes because people used to talk about them all the time. Uh, I used to get called Bug and Bug Eyes and Kermit the Frog and all type of stuff. And now that I'm an adult, I found that they're like my favorite part um, of my face are my eyes and my lips. Um, because those are just things that I got made fun of as a kid. And you know, when you're a kid, you don't really understand self-worth and confidence and really what beauty is it's not really what everybody else thinks about you it's really what makes you different and what makes you stand out you know that's to me that's what beauty is beauty's not necessarily when you see someone and they just have like these like the regular standard of beauty but they just have different qualities that come together and just make them who they are and my eyes are that for me like they were really it was hard for me to deal with words that people said to me because of my eyes and different features. Like, I always hated my eyes because of that. No, I'm not crying. I'm getting makeup off. I really don't care about that anymore. I wouldn't cry because of that. But second to the last part is going to be my lips. And that was the look that a lot of you guys were saying that y'all liked. I literally just took a cheap purple pencil that I got from the hair store. And I did an ombre effect with my lips. And I'll go ahead and show y'all that. I did put on some lip stuff, but excuse me if my lips got dry again, because I've been talking. And just go in your corner. I like to color here and here, kind of like give you a heart effect. So you see your lips, how they're shaped naturally like a, well, not everybody's, but mine kind of are. I don't really have much of a Cupid's bow, but I try to do like a heart. So you see that? That's how I try to do my ombre, like a heart. And then I take, what happened? Oh, here it is. Oh, no, that's not it. What did I do with my lipstick? Oh, here it is. This is a Pat McGrath uh, lipstick. This is Venom 1, which is just red.
And my assistant is going to get my purple lip gloss so it can get a little bit of sheen to it. And I have a darker purple here that might, let me see. Here it is, this is a darker one. Is that it? It's closed. Yep, sit it right here. Anything else before I go and relax? Mm-mm. 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 Mm. That's what happens when you use cheap pencils. You get stuff all on your lips. And I'll fix it. I gotta fix my lips. Just so y'all know, fixing my lips is always a huge thing for me. Like it takes me forever usually. When I have, um, especially if I already have on my foundation, I have to uh, do my lips and then I have to go over them with a like a concealer brush I have to go around my lips I'll show y'all how I do that this is a concealer brush and that's because reds and purples like deep colors um, they like to bleed which is not fun um, so once I already have on my foundation and stuff I like to line the outside of my mouth with concealer and then I just go over it like dust it with powder again so that you really can't see it. And then you can just take and you can ombre it out however you want to. Like this is just gloss. And take my magic eraser. And that is it. Oh, let me do my buzz light and my buzzer thing. Thank you. Do my uh under eyebrow thing. Hold on. Just to make it eye pop. I'll just take a little, I don't know what color this is. This is like a pinky nudie something. I'll just put a little bit of that under there. To give you that. At auntie highlights. You know how your auntie be coming through with that highlight underneath her eyeshadow? Aunties love that eyebrow highlight. Straight up auntie. Auntie. So that's it. If I had on foundation, it wouldn't look like blah, blah, blah. Because uh, I would have other stuff on too. But I don't. So this is it. But this is the look. This is how you get it. Red, purple. Well, red, take the red out just a little bit after you put it in your corner. Put some purple over that just in the corner. And then put the concealer over your bottom lid. And then do one half dark glitter, one half light glitter. Do whatever color you want to for your under eye. Some cat eyes and some mascara boom i always suggest setting your eyes except especially when you're using dark colors like reds and purples just because it helps the colors to pop more and not look like you have a black eye because dark colors can make you look a little bit crazy i also suggest when you're doing dark colors to put your your eyeshadow on before you put on your foundation because this this is what your foundation will look like like and i don't think that y'all want that on your foundation um and then for the lips, 
I did put some treatment on my lips first and try to lightly exfoliate, but from talking, they just got dry again. So what I did after I lined them, I lined them with a lighter purple, but I ended up going back over with a darker purple, which is what I think I did last night. Uh, the darker purple is another hair store purple. Like they're not expensive at all. I think it's a hair store purple. Um, I don't even know where it went, but you get dark purples from anywhere. But I took them, lined my lips, did the ombre effect to kind of make like the heart, you know, close the in effect, put the red in and just till I got it to what it looks like. And I used a purple gloss over, but you could use a red gloss or a clear gloss uh, to make your lips look more clean. Just use a concealer brush and a concealer that's close to your color. And it's like a little eraser to wipe around your mouth. And afterwards you can go over it like with a kabuki with some powder. But that is it, y'all. Thank you all so much for watching. This will be on Facebook. This will stay on Facebook. I will not erase it, but I'm also going to upload this to YouTube uh, from my camera. I don't know what it's going to look like. I hope it looks good because this is my first time ever recording myself doing a Facebook Live. <laughs> so I hope that you can still see detail in the camera. Um, but that's it. I'll see you all later. Thank you again. Bye. You're welcome. Thank you.